Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick comparison video between these two knives from Chavez. I thought it would be fun to get them both on the desk, get them on the table, and go through not only the specs, but how they stack up against each other. We have the Rendencion Street. This is just the normal production model. And then we have the full-size 229 Rendencion, and this is the Silver Bullet exclusive. So I thought it would be fun to just do a little compare and contrast and let you guys know what I think of both of these and, of course, which one I prefer. So we will go ahead and get into, um, we'll get into all of that in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. We did it. We made it past 1,000 subscribers. Not just to 1,000, but past 1,000. I'm super pumped. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and sharing, and commenting, messaging, all of that. We are past 1,000. Yes, onward and upward. Um, really excited so thank you guys so much all right let's go ahead and get this out of the way and let's talk about these rendencions so first up let's go ahead and talk um just what makes these different so uh, chavez has another model called the liberation or liberation and it is not really my jam i much prefer this compound grind the hollow ground we got the flat tip Got the swedge. This is more my style. I don't really like the Liberation, the look of it. It's very pointy. I, I don't know. Not my thing. So I much prefer the Rendencion. That's why I have two of them on the table today. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to pick up this exclusive, the Silver Bullet exclusive. And the street version, this is just the normal production uh, Rendencion street and the street just means it is a smaller, more EDC friendly sized compared to the beast, the beastly 229, which is the full size Chavez. If you guys are looking for a quick rundown, spoiler alert, which one I prefer more and you just want to get right to it, I much prefer the 229, the full size not only because of the size, but also because of this just epic, amazing fit and finish, because it is the exclusive Silver Bullet version. Man, you just can't beat it. So if, if you were wondering which one I like more, definitely the Silver Bullet 229 Rendencion. The full size fits my hand better, fit and finish is nicer, action is better, boom. Now, we will get into all the details. Don't worry if you wanna, you know, skip out now on the video i totally understand you know which one i like better but if you're interested in some more details and some specs we are about to get into that right now so let's go ahead and do it let's get these measured up really quick and see where they land full size 229 yeah so this is this is over three and a half a little bit over three and a half pretty pretty serious and a little bit over eight inches overall. And then for the street rendencion, we have about three and a quarter and then seven and a half overall. So is it a huge size difference? Not really. I mean, here, I'll go ahead and line them up handle to handle. I mean, I feel like looking at them, it's not that big of a difference, but when you actually get them in hand, you're like, what is this, a knife for ants? You know, <laughs> there's definitely there's definitely some something missing for me, at least in the hand, something missing on the handle. And let, let's go ahead and just jump into it. We'll talk uh, ergos first, then we'll talk fit and finish. Ergos, it's not bad. I, I really like the clip, how the clip feels in hand. The jimping, even though it is sharp, it does not bother me. It is an ergonomic knife, although it just feels like there's about a half an inch missing or, you know, three quarters of an inch missing right at the end. And what I'm feeling in hand is just a little bit of this pokiness. These corners are a little bit sharp. So what ha ends up happening is because it is the smaller sized handle, smaller sized knife, I end up getting poked. With a full four finger grip, I end up getting poked just a little bit 
by the corners. Whereas the Silver Bullet, the full size, that same edge is just a little bit further out, away from my palm in the same grip, and it doesn't poke me, it doesn't bother me at all. Another thing to note is that the, I don't know if this is all 229s or just the Silver Bullet exclusive, but these are not sharp and they are on the street version. So when I have this in hand, not only does it stick out a little bit further, so it's not digging into my palm, but even if I really kind of bear down on it, I don't feel it because these are not sharp corners. So that's a huge plus on the full size 229. Ergo's definitely the win is all day full size. Now let's go ahead and talk um, fit and finish and kind of what, what the real difference is between these two knives, not only the size, because I know you might be thinking, yeah, we get it. Like this one's bigger, this one's smaller. I know, but there are a few things that make these different. Um, the street version, we have the vertical belt satin, awesome grinds. Both of these are made by Riot, designed by Chavez, produced by Riot. Um, the scales looks like maybe like a, it's definitely stonewashed, but maybe blasted and then stonewashed, but very plain, plain titanium frames. I mean, scales, whatever, um, titanium scales, very straightforward, has, has a stonewashed look, simple belt satin compound grind, solid. Now for the silver bullet, we have, you know, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit fancier. I definitely like the fit and finish of this guy better. Instead of the vertical belt satin, we have hand rub satin. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. Yeah, pretty epic. So it's still a hollow grind. I got that question. Um, and when you look at it, you think, is it is it a flat ground Chavez? Is it is it a, is it a flat ground Rendencion? No, it, it is still hollow. It is just not as apparent because it is hand rub satin. But I definitely had to look at it when I got it. I thought, huh. But anyway, hand rub satin blade. Both of these are in M390. And of course, what really sets this apart is the orange peel finish on the titanium orange peel clip. And orange peel is this really yeah, awesome texture that kind of looks like an orange peel, but it comes off as very shiny, very sleek and silvery, you know, like silver surfer, silver bullet hence the name. So fit and finish, got to give it to the Silver Bullet. I mean, when you, I don't know if it's coming across to you guys, but damn, this is, this is a good looking knife. Whereas this one, you know, it's fine. I, I definitely love that belt satin, love the grind lines, but it's more of a plain Jane, which is not a bad thing. But when you have these two on the table and you're comparing them, I mean, come on. This, to me, this orange peel finish, whew, and you have that same blade shape, but this hand rub satin actually looks really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and talk um, action. I think action is up next. And for action, let, let's talk deployment. So deployment action, both detents are on the stiff side, which is fine for a thumb stud knife. That's great, I, I like it. You really, you know, these are these big monster thumb studs. You really gotta give it a good thwack. Boom, detent is great. For me, uh, for me at least, <laughs> and um, the uh, deployment action is awesome on the street. Let's go ahead and talk full size two two nine deployment. Great. So deployment action, really strong, serious, snappy um, detent, and and just a thwack, boom for both of them. Now, as far as the closing action goes. Here's where it gets a little weird. Now, you would assume that the full size 229 is going to have, you know, more, closer to a drop shut action just because of the size of the blade. That is true. But this is where I kind of ran into an issue with the street is that you have this detent ramp. And at first, I thought it needed a detent ramp. This is months and months and months ago when I first got this. I think I mentioned it in my unboxing. And I thought, wow, this might need a detent ramp. But now I think that's actually the issue. I didn't realize that it had a detent ramp. And it has this point. I mean, you can see it. It's, it's very late to get past the detent ball. And it has this kind of 
this 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 pressure that you have to build up and, and this ramp you have to get past and if you don't it springs back out and it just makes the action not for me not enjoyable on the street and you finally get past that then it's smooth nice shake i don't need it to be a guillotine i don't need it to be drop shot but you have this kind of right yeah right there this little spring action which i do not care for on the 229 there is still just a little bit of that but you get past it much easier and then of course you have a nice smooth drop a nice smooth close so i'm not sure if it is a different size detent ramp let me see if i can even see this i didn't inspect it <laughs> So there is, yeah, there is a detent ramp. I'm trying to see, I know it's not the best thing to look at on camera, but I'm trying to see if it's a different size or if it's just the size of the blade, but it's just not as hard to get past. It's still a late detent, you know, I would consider that late. You know, here, early, early, early. And then once you get into this angle, I feel like that's a little bit late, but, um, there's still a little bit of pressure to get past the detent, but it's just not nearly as much as the street. So you can kind of just do it with one finger and just boop, and then close it. Does, is that gonna be a deal breaker for most people? Are most people gonna care about that? I, I really don't think so. But for me to get past the detent, it should be nice and smooth and easy to get past. And for the street, it's just, it's just not as easy is it a real problem? I don't think so. But for me, I noticed that on the 229, it's just a little bit easier to get past the detent. All right, enough about detents. Let's go ahead and talk about um, which versions these are as far as like the generations. These are the latest Chavez's, <laughs> latest knives from Chavez. They do have the forehead screws. I know that irks a lot of people. Um, I have only had Chavez knives with the forehead screws, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I, you know, both of these have come with the plain clips, which I will never use. I really th like the uh, the skull clips. I think they're badass. They look great. They feel good in the hand. N no complaints there. Um, but before, in the, in the earlier versions of the Chavez knives, these were hidden hardware screws, so you didn't see them. And you would have to get, you know, take apart the scales to get the clip out because the screws were on the inside of the scale. And um, now they're on the outside <laughs> and they're on the outside of the clip. I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. But I did see a, a, a video, a picture recently, uh, like a little clip of one of the older Chavez knives. And it was the hidden hardware. It definitely looks better <laughs> with, no, with no forehead screws. It looked sleek, it looked badass, really cool. But if you don't look at the old versions, there's nothing to complain about, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, but if you had one of the old versions and you're used to that, and then you get one with the forehead screws, it's kind of a little bit hokey. For me, again, doesn't bother me, but uh, I don't know. I look at it and I think, oh yeah, that's just how it is because I never experienced Chavez with the hidden hardware. Anyway, again, not a big deal. Um, just some details to point out. Which one have I been enjoying in my pocket more? Now, of course, I've had the street for a lot longer than the full size, but still I've been enjoying this more so. One of the bummers about these knives, there is no internal milling on either one. Does there need to be? Uh, I, I think there should be. I think for the price that, you know, I paid and we're paying, I think there should be internal milling. And I get that his thing is rustic and, you know, a little bit unfinished, the, the serious jimping and it's two slabs of titanium. But I think it's, I think it's time. I think it's time to get a little bit of internal milling. I think that that would be awesome. It would lighten the knife up a little bit um, and be a little bit more enjoyable to carry. Although this was you know, not, not an issue. It, it, you do feel it in your pocket and it's, it's a chunk. <laughs> I don't know how heavy this is, but it's serious. Um, but I don't mind that. I, I, I like a substantial feeling knife, whether it's in pocket or in hand. 
I don't need something that's, you know, feather light. So uh, overall, although this is lighter, it's not, it's not that much lighter. I really got to get a scale up here. They're, they're both, they're both heavy. I, I wonder what the difference in weight is because they really don't feel that different. I mean, maybe an ounce difference. I would have to get them on a scale. Um, but again, if you're going to get this much weight into your pocket, I would prefer to have more knife. And that's where the 229 comes in. So again, I just wanted to do a video, you know, it's, this is, it's no longer a quick video, but I wanted to do a video and compare these two. I've gotten a few questions on which one I like better. And um, you guys wanted to see kind of how they, how they line up with each other. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. We have the Chavez Rendencion Street, which is the smaller version, kind of plain Jane, stonewash action, belt satin. And we have the full-size 229 Rendencion Silver Bullet exclusive from Thon Nguyen. And um, this has the orange peeled uh, scales and the uh, hand rub satin Whew. on the blade again. Both M390. Would I like to see a different blade steel? Maybe. I don't think everything has to be M390. I'm not an M390 hater, but you know, be nice to see something see something different overall these are both solid don't get me wrong I, I just never really fell in love with the with the street i am starting to really really enjoy the full size 229 there we go the comparison the chavez comparison um if you guys want i can do a full chavez video i have a few other knives from chavez got my scapegoat um do i have another one yeah i think i have another one a little flipper action i forget the the tack, <laughs> the tiny ass knife. So I can do a full Chavez rundown video if you guys want. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you later.